Hey guys, DIY with Elle here and I've got a cool DIY project for you that is also super easy. It's a barn door flat pack brought to you by Swartland Windows and Doors. So I'm excited. This little guy over here, I think this is where all the hardware is. So it comes in packed, you don't have to go to a store and try and find the rolly bits and the bar bit for on top of the door. It all comes together in one pack. So I'm going to assemble it here with the help of my mum because this is her barn door that's going to slide across this opening over here. And we can't wait to get started and I'm going to show you what exactly you'll need. Okay, so here I am just unpacking all the various hardware elements, having a look at them, they're really great quality, and just unpacking them all neatly and putting them together so I can see what I have and what I don't have. The only thing that doesn't come with this barn door is a door handle which I bought separately and spray painted black to match the hardware that came with the barn door. There's everything and it also comes with instructions so I made notes of the measurements that they give you for full installation of this door and I made notes to get started. Here I am just taking those measurements to the wall and the entryway, making sure I'm making all the right markings at the right measurements. And then I use a level to make sure everything is straight before I draw my pencil markings on the wall. So I'm lining up the bar here, the rail, and basically that pencil line that I made on the wall has to go through the center of each drill hole on the rail. So I'm just, before I make my final markings on where I'm going to drill the holes, I'm just using a level and the help of my mum to make sure everything is straight. So here I'm using my trusty Devolt drill. It's really powerful and makes drilling holes into masonry wall that much easier. And I'm going in for the second drill hole and then that's done. Now I'm using the various hardware that attaches the rail to the wall and just tightening it and making sure it's secure. Okay, now we can turn our attention to the barn door and it really looks beautiful in its natural pine wood color, but we decided we wanted to look classic and really match the rest of the room. So we decided to apply two coats of white paint. We also finished it off with a clear sealer. Once the door is dry and fully painted, I am taking the measurements from the instruction leaflet for the wheel brackets and just applying the measurements to the door, making my markings and making sure everything is lined up and straight and ready for drilling. Once the holes are made, I can use the nuts and bolts to secure the wheel brackets to the door. And then I secured two handles that I bought and spray painted on either side of the sliding door. 
And there you have it, a DIY installation of a sliding barn door. Such a classic look. It really is a feature piece in the room and it's functional as well. Who would have thought it would be so easy? For more home DIY and decor projects, you can follow me at DIY with Elle on my YouTube channel as well as on social media. Hope you enjoyed this video and remember, until next time, keep smiling and DIYing.